hey hi friends welcome to today's video so today we are going to discuss about enum sealed classes and sealed interface now let's see first the definition of enum so enum is a class type for storing a list of constants representing a set of types of a single object now how can we define enum so you can use the enum syntax enum class and then give the enum name and then you can have a cases inside it now let's see the implementation of this enum logger level. So what can I do? Let's that if I create an object of that. So I have three here, low, medium and high. So I can just write here, let's say low enum equals to enum logger level dot low. Okay. So this is how you can create a enum object. Now, how can you access it based on the type let's say that you are getting this from some function or from some response and then you have to you know, do your actions based on your enum types let's say that in our case we have low median and high so even we can use a when keyword here so we can write when and then this low enum so here now we can add all the remaining branches so here we have this low, medium and high and then instead of to do I can just uh, write a println statement here. So here we can write uh, low and let me write it here medium and high as well. Okay. Right. Now if I run this and let's see what's the output that we are getting for it. Now you can see that in the output we are getting low because our enum logo level was of low type. So if I change it to high, it will print me high. Okay, now I'll go into more detail into enums. But before that, let's see the definition of sealed classes. Now sealed classes represent a restricted class hierarchy. This allows you to define subclass within the scope of the parent function, allowing you to represent hierarchies. In this case, the child or subclass can be of any type, a data class, an object, a regular class, or another sealed class. Now, how can we define a sealed class? So we have sealed syntax here, sealed class, and then the class, sealed class name. And inside that, we can have class, object, data, even a function. So I've just tried to keep it similar to my enum. So we have low, medium, and high, and that's the reason that I have kept here low, medium, and high. Okay. Now let's try to create the object of sealed class also. Okay, so here I can create well uh, low sealed, and in this case I'll use sealed logger level. Okay, and see here we can write low, and as it's a class, so we have to create a instance of it. Now let's try to use the same when which we use with the enum with the sealed class as well okay now here if i write low sealed and uh, the first thing is that the way it gave error when i wrote when to implement all the cases it's not giving here okay now what i'm doing wrong here now one thing if you see the type of this low sealed if you see the type is coming as say logger level dot low because we are directly creating this object and that's the reason that here when you're writing this when statement it's not giving you the option to iterate so here what we have to tell actually the compiler that we are going to create the object of c logger level type okay and now if you see here the type got changed to say logger level and now your when statement is giving you error okay now if i click it here it will ask me to implement all the remaining cases now here i can again write the same print uh, low here i can write print uh, medium and uh, let me just write it with smaller so that it makes little difference okay now if i run it this time i should get uh, two output actually the one with uh, this uh, 
low enough that means we are coming to this vein block and one with here okay so till now whatever the task that we were able to achieve with nm we were able to achieve with sealed classes then why we have sealed classes or what extra thing we uh, get with the sealed classes instead of using nm okay now let's try to see the differences now first thing is that when you use nm you get a default value now what default value you get basically that you get a default integer like this is basically denoted by 0 and this is 1 and this is 2 but this is not in the case of your sealed classes okay the other difference which is uh, major difference is that the enums are by default constant like you cannot have a dynamic value inside enum for example let's say that here our enum is is having some sort of input let's say that in my case here I have a message okay and uh, I put this message as it's a string okay now the moment you put this message what will happen you will get error because on uh, this all cases should have some sort of message right? if you see here it will ask you to include the message okay now here the masses are basically hard coded let's say that I can put here low warning okay and the same thing let me include it in medium and here medium warning and in the case of high I'll put it as high warning okay so we included one parameter but this parameter values are hard coded and we cannot have more than one parameter in the case of enum it can always have just one parameter this enum suits you more in the cases let's say that you are trying to get the HTTP response from the server and you know all the cases like let's say you have 200 for success or 401 for uh, unauthorized 404 for not found so you have all the cases which are defined and that and those cases are not going to be changed right in those cases it's good that you can have your uh, enum but when you have dynamic value let's say that you want to pass some dynamic object in that class the enum is not going to solve the problem now let's try to have the same variable in the sealed classes okay now what I'm going to do here I'm going to just copy and paste this and we'll have the same thing in the sealed classes now the moment you write it again it's going to throw you error because now you have to pass this object here right so I'll pass this object this is message and here this message will basically come from here and in this case if you see I'm just defining the type of this message that is string I'm not hard coding the value the way I was doing in the case of enum okay so let me do the same thing in all my classes here here and let me pass all this value okay so here the objects the values are dynamic not the constant and the second thing is that in this case you can have multiple parameters let's say that if you want to pass message and you or you want to pass some other parameter also you can have as many as parameter there's no limitation here okay now obviously it is going to throw some sort of error if I run it right now if you see my enums is not throwing you any error because although we have introduced this parameter uh, sorry here but all these values are already provided as a hard-coded string but in the case of your uh, C logger level now here in the case we have to pass this value dynamic now in this case we can pass this let's say if I delete it and write it again so see we have to pass a message right and this message you can pass anything let's say that I pass sealed uh, warning low and this can be composed in the runtime right now what if if you want to print uh, this messages so right now if I run it uh, it is going to print low medium high because 
I'm just you no know, printing the hard coded uh, output. But let's say that I want to take the string what I'm providing to my enum and what I'm providing to my C classes. So now I can write here. low enum dot message right the same thing I can write in all the places here sorry so now this message will come actually this low warning medium warning high warning and the same thing I will do in the cases of my seed classes also okay and these messages will be coming when you are forming actually your object okay now let me run it again and see the output now if you see here we are getting high warning in both the cases because I forget to change this object here my mistake so let me run it one more time Okay, so now you can see that in one case we have the message which we are forming at the runtime and one message is coming hard coded from the enum. So enums are constant and C classes gives you more flexibility to have the dynamic content okay and allow you also to have multiple parameter. Okay, other things uh, which you have noticed that you cannot directly create the object of seed logger level because this is by default an abstract class. Let's say that if you try to write something like uh, well obj equals to this, it will throw you error. So, apart from this, both can have something like uh, a function. Let's say that if I have to include a, f a function here, I can just give a semicolon, do anything. Okay. And the same function I can have it in my sealed classes as well. Okay. Apart from this classes, I can have a data, I can have object type inside this sealed classes. It is just like your other normal classes. Other difference is that in the enum, each enum should have the same property what we have here. Like let's say that here we have message. I cannot have instead of message I can write something like let's say uh, num and I can pass one this we cannot do okay or we can let's say that if you want to write it something like this this is also not allowed if you see that this is if I run it it will throw me uh, error it's not able to find this value so this is not allowed in the case of enum but let me try to just do the same thing with my c classes so right now i have for this medium i have just one parameter now instead of this i can have let's say num which is of type integer okay and this is perfectly allowed if i run this because i think i am not creating any object of the medium okay yeah so it should not throw me any error so you can have a different parameter because each one is behaving like a separate independent classes okay uh, and one more thing which you should uh, notice here that the classes or anything which we are defining inside inside the C classes you can keep it even outside like if I copy this and I paste it here this is perfectly allowed the only thing you have to keep in mind that it should be in the same file like I cannot put this into some other file now let's see the last topic that we are going to discuss today and that is our sealed interface okay so now we are going to discuss about sealed interface now what is sealed interface so basically this was introduced in Kotlin 1.5 and this modifier works on interfaces just as it does on the classes a sealed interface is also a valid Kotlin interface that means that not only are all implementation of a C interface known at compile time but it also has all the typical property of the Kotlin interface now let me try to 
write a scene interface for you so let me just remove all this code so here what I have written I have just defined a seed interface and I have write a seed class seed logger and then I have a enum logger now let me try to confirm this interface here so let me write here some extras now the moment you write it see it's showing error because now we have to implement this so here if you try to write override so it is it will give you to implement this method and the same thing goes for this enum as well so here also you need to if I confirm to this some extras sorry then this also has to override that method okay so one thing here what we have to keep in mind that the enum class are only allowed to inherit from cell interface so if you try to inherit any other classes with the enum then you will get an error okay so that's all about uh, today's video hope you have understood uh, the differences between enum seal classes and seal interface if you have enjoyed watching this video and you have not subscribed the channel then please give a thumbs up and do subscribe the channel thanks for watching thank you